Hello, Jess Too Good here. I can't believe it's come down to this, but this is my first Mega Constructs review. I know, crazy. But Mega sent me this to review, and I want to express my honest opinions, which are just my own opinions and not representative of Mega or Mattel. Now, this is the Family Lua Party from the Despicable Me 3 line, and has 123 pieces and retails for $25 in the United States. First, we'll take a look at the figures, and then we'll move on to the building set itself. So it really piqued my interest into this line way back in, I think, February, and you can see some tweets proving that is the use of these human figures because these minion sets and the Despicable Me 2 sets only used minion figures. They never captured the humans. So this is really our first mega constructs group, which is quite interesting. It's actually made out of 13 different pieces, which is very impressive because it leads to a lot of articulation. Um, the arms right here have two joints, so you could kind of move those. And while the hand actually is in a separate piece, it's connected onto this one. You could rotate the hand as well if you'd like, which is pretty nice. This scarf is a separate piece, the head's a separate piece, which actually has a hole up top, so I guess that's how you make uh, Drew, which is his twin brother. There's some printing on the torso. Up here is a few different pieces that you can't really see, and those were a pain in the butt to put on because you had to put the legs on. There's even like a little back coat tail piece. Those are separate pieces. More joints on the legs right there, which uh, do move at the knees, and then there's the little, little uh, feet right there. This is a very interesting take. It's definitely different from Lego, and that's what I like that Megabox has been doing since, I don't know, the early 2010s, where they've been trying to make it different from Lego, which I like. You know, this isn't like a Lego minifigure. This is an action figure more so, and I like that, you know, because so many other companies just copy Lego minifigure, and they say, okay, here it is with some flesh skin. This is an interesting take. I forgot to say it, but they also include one extra head for Gru. I don't know why, but uh, the facial expression is exclusive to the set for both of them, so that's quite interesting. So here's Lucy, and she's made out of 16 different pieces, which provides for a lot of rotation and posability. For example, you could move her arms up and down. Uh, you could actually move her whole body at the waist. Uh, you could rotate her head around. Um, it's a little bit hard with this little piece right here, but uh, still works out. And you could even move her little legs at these knee joints, which is a little bit awkward, but uh, you could still get some different poses out of that. So I'm quite impressed with that aspect. I also like the material they use for different pieces. For example, this little uh, skirt right here is more of a rubbery piece, but the actual build of everything else is more of a hard plastic. The only thing is that the plastic is a material where it looks like maybe a little bit too light, too much light can pass through it, and it makes her look a little bit too tan. Uh, Gru has a little bit of this problem going on, but uh, his coloring looks a little bit better than Lucy's, so I'm a little bit disappointed with that. But other than that, it's a pretty cool figure for just how much customization options you have and how much different poses you can make. And also, I like this little drink right here, which you actually do get more in this set from my understanding. So here is Margot, and she's voiced by Miranda Cosgrove in the movies, which is, of course, Megan from Drake and Josh. Love that show. Ended so early. Now Drake is living a life of ruin. 500000 in debt and not being invited to Josh's wedding. Very, very sad. Either way, the design for Margot is made out of 10 pieces, and she has some nice designs to her. I really like this little uh, kind of uh, a plaid skirt right here. I think that's a really cool design, and that's kind of a rubber, just like uh, Lucy's and the actual legs right here. Don't have the posability that, say, Lucy has, where it's a little bit less of a knee joint, but more of a hip joint, but you could still move them up. And they actually have separate uh, shoes, which I think is the same ones used for SpongeBob. The arms could also be moved up and down, and she has a little Lua, just like uh, Lucy. And her hairpiece, just like Lucy, can be removed. You just kind of have to put it off there, and you can see there's space to just put it back on. I think she does have the same problem as Lucy, where the, the, the skin is a little bit too tan, and that might be a quality issue. But other than that, I mean, it's a really cool representation of the figure. Like I said, I like that these are different from Lego. They're not trying to be Lego. They're trying to be these little action figures, and it provides for a lot more posability and customization, even though I like the iconic design of the Lego minifigure more. The design for this little uh, ukulele is actually, right, that's a ukulele? It's pretty neat. Um, you could use it with a Lego minifigure, and you just kind of hold on to that part right there. It has a nice printed part on the part with the strings and everything. So a very cute little design for Margot. So here is Edith, a uh, pretty cool design. Um, she's kind of like the sister who doesn't do anything in the Despicable Me movies. I mean, she doesn't have much to do. 
Um, usually Margo and Agnes gets the spotlight. But uh, I do like this figure because of this hat piece right here. I think it's a really cool kind of hat design where they have the hair sticking out and they even have a little bit of lines on the back. It's a really nice mold. And then you could actually, of course, place the hair of, say, Margo on her and you've got a totally new character right there. So I think that's quite adorable. Other than that, uh, the design for her little Lua right there is the same design as the one for Lucy. It's just a new color. And she even has a little bit of a rubber skirt, just like all the other girls. So that's really it for Edith. And the last of the girls is Agnes, which is probably the most popular character in uh, the Despicable Me series that's a human. I always see her like shared around besides the minions themselves, which are annoying little creatures. But uh, the design for her is actually made out of seven pieces. And her hairpiece, just like all the other girls, can be switched around so you can make a new character if you want. Um, but uh, the look on her face is quite adorable. And in the movies, you know, they kind of play her up as this adorable little girl. Uh, the design for her face is actually different from the other set she appears in because she is the only other uh, girl character that appears in another set. So that's quite interesting. This little uh, legs right here is actually one piece. Uh, you can't remove them or anything like that. Um, but you can move each one individually if you want to. Um, so that's quite cool, and I like how that turned out. But yeah, that's it for Agnes. Pretty cute little figure. And the minion of the set is the one I pulled from the blind bag series. I mean, these are kind of interesting because of how customizable they are, um, where you could kind of remove the eyes and switch out uh, the little mouth, head piece, and you got a totally new character. So I do like that. I just don't really care for the minions in general. They're quite annoying, and they appear so many places. And it's still so odd that they have a little bra, coconut bra. Why do they have that? I don't know. But yeah, that's it for the minion of this set. So now let's get into the actual building set. So here's the build of the set all together. Now let's take a look at each section. So here is the little juice bar section, probably my favorite section. You have a minion dancing on there. I kind of put Margo on the side, but uh, Margo is kind of blocking the play feature where you could tilt the juice bar forward like that and just everything falls down. I actually like how it's built uh, because it does use some pieces that even Lego wouldn't do. Like this long little uh, serving spoon, I guess you could say. That's a neat mold. And this big bowl right here is also kind of cool. And they give this uh, little drink right here, which is a little bit different from the one that Lucy was holding and because it has this little stud up top. So I actually like that as well. And even it looks like maybe a champagne bottle or something. And this build for the little tree is quite nice as well. And that has just one whole mold for the trunk and then this separate mold for the top kind of uh, branches. And you can see it connects and there's these little lights connecting it. Um, another kind of cool piece that Lego doesn't have. And on this side right here, it seems like they probably reused this section from a, a Lego SpongeBob uh, set or whatever. Because these pieces right here have this nice kind of, um, I guess, print on it. And you can see how that looks right there. Uh, there's these mini little palm tree piece, which is actually a really cool piece, but it is so flimsy. It always falls off. So I don't really like that one too much. And they even have a little mini flame right there. And I kind of like the shaping of this plate, where it's a very unconventional shape. And the last section has a little dancing plate, which uh, spins around. That's cool, but Edith's shoes just don't connect on there very well. I don't know if that's a problem with this figure or if it's a problem with this piece right there. So it's kind of a quality issue. I don't really appreciate that. I do like uh, this little piece right here, which is like a little bit of a handle that sticks through a hole. So that's kind of cool. And another little flame piece, but that's really it for the build in general. Let's take a look at the packaging and then the final verdict. So here is the front of the box and the back. I have to say the material is kind of interesting because it's more of a, a harder material than they use for Lego boxes. So I like how it is kind of different and they show a lot more information writing on the back than a Lego box does. And this is also the instruction booklet and it's so much more bigger than a Lego one. It almost feels like a comic book. Uh, inside they have a nice little checklist of all the different figures and sets. I do like that, whether it's Lego or Mega Constructs. And the back shows some of the play features and then a little advertisement for some of the other sets, which is quite cool. So look, it's weird that I'm a Lego fan and I'm reviewing this, okay? That's weird, but let's get past that because the design of this set I think is really good in terms of what you get for the price, which is $25. This is something Lego wouldn't do where they put all the main characters in a set and they even throw in an extra character, a minion. And I like that, you know? When Megablox does something different from Lego, I think it, that's when they excel the best. 
you know, and they're really doing something different from Lego. These are action figures that kind of fit the brick scale, and I think that really works to their advantage because you got a lot of posability, and nobody could really say, oh, this is a copy of Lego because Lego doesn't make these types of figures, and that's okay because I love the Lego minifigure to death, and I will always love the Lego minifigure better than any other action figure out there, but I like how these came out, and I like that there's something different. So I do recommend this set, especially if you're a fan of the franchise and you like Lego, try it out. Just buy one set, and this is the one set I would recommend because the actual blind bag series doesn't really have the main human characters, but this one has the main human characters and a minion thrown in, so it will really attract people there. So that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Let me know if you like Mega Bloks after seeing this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.